as promised I'm down here at the Taywhale Sculpture uh, I said I wanted to do a final video about this area, the waterfront place so here is the Taywheel Sculpture as you can see it is now open I know it is quite bright sunshine right now uh, not much I can do about that but here you can see the sculpture you can see also uh, the way that it's shaped the way that it is shaped obviously you've got the, the fin uh, the tail there um, it is pointing downwards the positioning of the sculpture is uh, as it's supposed to be diving through the uh, waves in the sea that's why it is in the position that it is in again I believe the gentleman's name is Lee Simmons uh, that designed and built this this has just been opened this area now for a couple of weeks so here uh, obviously you can see it much better now now we can come in here and even the birds can come in here if you can see that the birds and everybody can come in here and see the sculpture properly as you can uh, it is open by the way as you can see it's kind of metal poles uh, metal pole construction so that is all open uh, it will the rain will walk uh, well obviously fall through the sculpture and you can see it is on supporting um, columns so there is the tail again you can I see again that's on a supporting sculpt as uh, pole. It took them a couple of days to actually uh, make sure it was safe and in place uh, and there was a couple of more weeks of work for the stuff underneath it but I'll talk about that in a moment or two you can see again just showing you the sculpture from this angle There's a couple of bits, interactive bits down here. You can see, obviously, there's a kind of game, a um, couple of game things here. I don't know what exactly. Um, I don't know what exactly how they play that the game. I don't know exactly how to play that, <laughs> that game. Also, and apologies for headphone users, there are speakers as well. Uh, you can see part of these uh, metal constructions. These are obviously made for kids and stuff to run through. Those are obviously whale sounds, that's part of the dis uh, interactive display thing here as well. It's continually playing uh, whale and other sea noises as part of this whole thing. Uh, so, again you can see it from this uh, side as well. The sculpture again, the head of the whale, the fins. the tail again 
and again that's some interactive games um, that have been put in so you can see the uh, See it all here. Again, just showing you another angle. That noise would probably get um, and a bit annoying pretty quickly to be honest if you're hanging around here for too long. Yeah, the noise would probably get a little bit old quite fast. Again just coming back here now so you can see it from this angle. You can see it uh, Yeah, you can't quite tell what it is from this angle, but just thought I'd show you um, from here as well. That's one of the um, things about it. Uh, I've heard a couple of people kind of say, like, why put it here? When, but you can't actually walk all the way around. Uh, around it. I mean, the whole point of this whole place, as I've talked about before, with the seating area and this kind of urban, can say urban beach kind of areas for um, summer. I think it'll look really good in the summer. Uh, this area has been open for a few months now. Couple good couple months. So at least about September, October. And so I think. Uh, there's already quite popular, so it'll be very popular area in the summer for people to come to. When we get, I mean, it's quite sunny today, but it's not warm. But once we get into those summer months, it'll be getting a lot. Uh, we've got a lot of, uh, more people coming down here, families and stuff. Again, especially with the. Uh, just show you quickly again. The sand and seating area. Uh, I will, i walk down this way, just to kind of give you an entire circular, circular look at the statue. Because like I said, this is the final video for now at this section, uh, discussing this area, I just want to show you. Again, you can kind of see the layout of the statue this way. So you can walk right away around it very easy to find, there's the V&A Museum right there. This whole area is no more than literally a couple of minutes walk from the city centre of Dundee. So again you can see the uh, sculpture from this angle now. It's quite good, there's certainly a lot of angles to get photos from. A lot of people already been down here to get photos. Some really good ones actually. Um, I think she's on uh, Instagram. Sam and her cam. I saw a really good one the other day. So, again, you can wander right around and get a 360 degree view of this sculpture. Obviously, I've given this area a lot of, uh, taken a lot of videos <laughs> uh, in this area. The last few months as this has all been gathering together as this whole area has been put together but again i just wanted to do kind of one last video of this area just uh, again show you the sculpture of course as well now that the barriers are down this is the first time i've really had an opportunity to come down and uh, well with my gopro uh, and 
kind of take a video of this whole area so I will wander back roughly to where I started now before I wrap this video up I mean my personal thoughts on this area um, like I said this is the final video for now from this area unless there's actually any events going on um, during the summer which I can't uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen this summer in terms of public events here in Dundee obviously um, my thoughts my personal thoughts as I wrap this video up actually I quite like this area I mean this is the kind of area where I mean kind of from here roughly up to the v a Museum um, just past the disco uh, kind of I'm sure it was located okay, this area was kind of the old Hilton Hotel but the Olympia swimming baths the new one had its problems unfortunately um, but I quite like this area uh, the it, whole area is intended like I said for families to come down you see there's a bit of a garden area i've gone through a tour before and we're not going to do that again just want to show you the sculpture there's the garden area there's a few seats there there's long long benches there for everybody to sit down on hopefully this once this kind of pandemic and stuff get we get rid of it hopefully soon and get it sorted but uh, i don't know but yeah, I like this area, I think it's really good It gives another place for families to come to in Dundee Like I said, the city centre is just up there Literally you're talking about a couple of crossing the roads A couple of road crossings and you're there So yeah, I think this is, uh, like I said, it will be very popular come the summer months uh, Once you know the the good weather hits families are out and about on holidays and stuff i actually think it's quite good they have to do something with the area and it's another kind of public area to for people to enjoy some decent views i said it before um that i always enjoyed coming down to the riverside excuse the noise um, I always enjoy coming down the riverside, it's one, one of the places I go to a lot is come down here and walk along the riverside so it might be good for some kind of street photography stuff this summer but yeah, I uh, better wrap this up um, yeah it's going it's to be a good area for families and people to sit, enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the good weather once we get it but again that is this is that is the um table sculpture waterfront place this is officially called i'll have to keep calling it that instead of the urban beach but i suppose that's the nickname so it's easy to find there is the b a museum there just come through the arches come down towards the t road bridge but yeah, I think I quite like this area. Hopefully, um, it'll be well up kept. And uh, as I said, when summer and good weather comes around, families can come and enjoy this space. 